Close my eyes. Okay. okay. Now hold her ear here. Okay. okay. And I want you to both use both hands. I would think that this is the end of her ear. Oh, let's see. So feel, uh, feel here. This is all me. Or yes. This. Okay. Use these two fingers only. Okay. Or these. Use your just your thumb and your index finger. Okay. And you're gonna feel. So here I'm gonna show you now. You can look. So I'm going to grab the ear and I'm going to feel all the way out to the meat right here. Right here's okay. the meat. And I don't even have to look. I can just feel. Okay. And then I can feel it go, boom. There's the, en there's the end of the meat and then uh -huh. there's hair. So then you just hold it at the So you just trim. hold the meat here and all okay. this will be only hair. That's and you have to reposition yourself over and over. Yes. And you're only doing even. like this much at a time. Yes. Right? To get right there. Yes. So if you, Good and so um, we learn in school, this, co <laughs> this Cocker Spaniel had, believe it or not, it, the, the meat of the ear was like down here oh, and the other side was not. Oh. So if you were just to grab it and say, oh, this should be the same as this, it's not. Yeah. It's not you always that. Ear so you really need to take this ear for being this ear uh -huh. and trim, hold the meat. And then if you're scared, hold the meat and then a little extra <laughs> and then come around. Okay. Okay. But you're not going to hold here and then trim all this. Okay. Do you see? You're not yeah. going to come down here. Yeah. Because you're, not, then you're not holding the meat. Only yeah. trim right where you're holding. That's good okay. to know. Um, good, it is good to know. Okay. So now we're going to do. Good you're job. coughing here. Are you feel how are you feeling? Is it the air maybe or? Oh, no, 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 no. I've had this little like residual cough from Kay. like November when I was sick. Oh, I see. It's still lingering? Yes, it's the lingering cough. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Whenever I get like sick, sick. Did you I get, get sick, sick? Mm-hmm. I get the lingering cough. You survived? I survived, yes. But yeah, I get that little residual <laughs> cough, especially with the hot, cold, hot, cold we've been having. Right. That really <coughs> My body around. can't figure out what's going on. Okay. Yeah, please. Let me check your sanitary here. Be still. And she's just going to wag her tail the whole time. She reminds me of a dog. I'll have to go back and see if I have any videos of her. Uh, Annie. Annie. Oh, I love, I love Annie. <laughs> she passed away. She passed away about cancer yeah we She's had a golden we had a golden retriever that passed away she was the sweetest her name was um sophie oh she really was just the best. but she got what? cancer and seven years ligaments. yeah seven she years was, older no she was um almost 10 i believe okay. she was nine or ten i mean she got some wide you know what i mean got to hang out a little longer than some yeah and she was a bigger dog she was like 80 90 pounds she was golden retriever australian shepherd mix Oh, I see. She has a blue eye and a brown eye. Really? Oh. He's still down there. <coughs> He's still. She's going to keep you all nice and clean. Now, she's been dragging her butt still a little bit. Do you think we need to... Come back. What do you mean? Like, she'll, like, sit down and drag her butt across the ground. That's a scooting thing, though, that could be, mean I need help with my anal glands. See, that's where I was going to see so what only, you thought. Well, the only way we'll know is if we go do them and you see right here, here. Yeah. You see how much is in there and go, you know what, that probably is the problem. Or, hey, there wasn't much in there. It's probably something else. Okay. But for her to continue dragging her, because I don't do <coughs> anal glands unless you're paying for them and you know we're doing them for a reason. Yeah. So if we didn't do that, which we didn't do that last time, mm -hmm. then there would be no reason unless there was sometimes if there's little mats back there and stuff, or like what we did have was out at urinary area, uh -huh. we really cleaned it out real good. Yeah. So that's all fresh and clean and airy now. Yeah. But to continue doing it, usually I would say a dog scooting their hiney more than once on, in a month. So once a month, I'll probably say, ah, oh, you're probably helping yourself. It's like once every couple of days. Every yeah, day. that's a lot. Yeah. So you, so they're like anal glands are like, uh, to me, they're like an, um, anal glands to me are like water balloons. There's two, one on each side in there. Okay. And they fill up. So when they fill up and they're supposed to poop, be poop coming out, it, it's in the way. So if they're too full, they, they need to push them down like a water balloon and go get them, 
released. Okay. So if you scoop more than once, you're really like, this, <coughs> I can't get this. Like, I'm not be able to get it. Okay. So uh, we go in there, we'll excrete them all, four her manually excrete them. Mm -hmm. All dogs don't need this. All dogs do have anal glands. Mm -hmm. So it really comes down to how long it takes for those anal glands to get full. Okay. And sometimes having different genetics and yeah. also sometimes having different food all the time, different kind of treats all the time will mess, mess it up so you can't like monitor it. Okay. You know, and then after we do the do this in 30 days, if we do it again, I'll tell you how full it took to get that full, right? Okay. How long it took to get that full because we're going to empty them. Okay. So then if you wait, then it, I wouldn't be able to track it because okay. then I would be able to say, hey, it was really full that time, but not really full this time. So I wouldn't need, I wouldn't think you would need to do it every 30 days, but there's only one way to find out is if we actually do them. Okay. Because you can't really look and see, you know, yeah. you can kind of feel a little bit here and I'm not feeling any bulging. So it'd be hard to say. So we okay. did them. And then she's relieved, she won't scoot anymore. <coughs> okay. So then you'll be like, okay, well, she hasn't scooted in three weeks. Boom, she scoots on three weeks and six days. Then you're okay. like, oh, okay. look, probably she's probably telling us they're getting full. But okay. you'll only know because right now there's nothing back here. Sometimes I'll look and see is there a poop? Yeah. A dingleberry? Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Something yeah. making her want to scoot, and I don't see anything back here. So. Okay. Well, should, could, should it be one of those things where maybe I actually like really monitor her and see how often she's scooting? Uh, and then I, I would. can text you and be like, hey, I think I need to bring her in when it's convenient for you to have Yep, to you can do that. Is that okay? Yep. So okay. now, though, you said it seems like she is scooting quite often. Yeah. I would say we're, you're here. Just I do would it. say we would do the first okay. one now, you know, okay. and then we'll know. Right? Where are you going, Miss Lucy Goosey? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Huh? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think? She just got to trim your toesies, but don't put your tail in there because I like your tail. Yeah, don't put your tail in there. Very cute. You're on camera, I'm recording, but tell me what kind of construction you're doing if you want. We are renovating our laundry room. Okay. So we knocked down a wall. We had like a mud room with a wall and then a laundry room. Okay. We took down the wall and we are putting up a bunch of cabinets. And we moved in the laundry room. room. Mm -hmm. So it's now actually one big giant room. Cool. One big really long room. Cool. And Lucy has her own little room under the stairs in the cool. same room. And uh, <coughs> so we filled one wall with upper and lower cabinets. The countertops are being installed tomorrow. And then we're going to build a mud bench on the other wall. Get mad at me. Really? Yeah. Is did you build a tub in there for her? We did not. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. How those mud rooms are really changing Yes, now? we talked about it. We added a sink. We didn't put a, a tub for she's her. She's really chewing at this. That yeah, she's a lot of sucking going on here. She always Licking, does. Sucking. It's, okay. it's, a, it's an allergy thing okay, of some sort, I think. Look forward. Thank you. Look forward. Yeah. yeah, okay. She, uh, we can't figure out if it's like a nervous tick or truly an allergy thing an allergy thing or like what's happening i know you're okay i promise she just getting the fur out of your toes yeah that's okay. really she's really spending some time there yeah she and i don't like i don't know if it's just like a like a boredom tick when is it when is it what is it do you see it happening she, while you're there doing paperwork or you know yeah, when she's just laying around really she'll just lick so we got her this um little toy that smart like toy? a it's an everlasting, like, hey, she's just trimming your paws. It's, it's all this, like, everlast, like, dog, chew. it's like this rubber chew thing, but then you can put, like, this kind of treat thing inside, okay. and it's supposed to keep them occupied, and it's definitely done its job. Really? <laughs> she'll, she'll finish it in, like, a day. Really? Yes. Do you, but you reload it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you with can treats? just, with, yeah, you just put the new, like, it's Small almost like the everlasting dog stopper type thing, okay. but it's like a dog treat. Interesting. Yes. But it's not everlasting. It does run out. Yes, because she like, I think she kind of has an obsessive personality. Oh, maybe. Where it's like, she, she does it for hours. Mm -hmm. It's she like does she has to lick it until it's gone. Hey, she's just trimming your toenails. Yeah, she's trimming your toenails. Baby. So you should just get her addicted to some Animal Planet, you know, to TV. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Something that's not invasive on her feet here. Yeah. yeah. Another thing is I'm I'm gonna try to start being a little bit more consistent with her walks and, okay. and that see might if help that, that exercise help. might help. Yeah. yeah. And I get her busy a little bit. And we're gonna um now that things have slowed down for me a little bit more, um so we're gonna cute. try to uh get her back into her training too. Oh great. Yeah. 
<clears throat> so I think that that will help a lot too. It'll be great till we get another house. Nice. We rent and flip houses. Oh, really? So, we need to talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. We need to talk to you on that thing. That was awesome. <laughs> you know I'm a realtor, right? Oh, I did not know yeah. that. So I'm a real estate agent. I got one on the market right now. And it's, you know, I'm grooming most of the time, right? Yeah. But it's, I love how the housing stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. <coughs> so how many houses have you done so far? So we've lived one and we've rented one. Um, the, our rental one is just down the street, actually. Okay. How many square foot on the rental? Uh, 14. 1,400? Mm -hmm. And so is it about 1,500 a month? 1,600? 1,600 bucks? Mm -hmm. That's very affordable. Yeah. Especially right now. Yes. Is that one any carpet in the house? Uh, nope. We took all the carpet out and oh, put yeah. woodlook so vinyl so and small. tile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so mainly woodlook vinyl with tile in the bathrooms. It's a 3-2. Oh, nice. So garage uh-huh two-car garage it's got a backyard here in Watauga you know they do they rent it they um turn that garage into something a lot yeah of this one does here. actually have a garage really mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah that's awesome look at you yeah we should totally do something yeah we're always looking for houses really mm -hmm. <laughs> okay we'll talk more about that offline because yes. YouTube you keep you guys grooming here Tidied up the feet, right? Yes. Tidy them up. Yes. Nothing I weird. love how I love how they're poofy and then it's just like trimmed up at her toes. Really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love the I love the poofy paws. Yeah. You're Was good. that her? Yeah. What the? You're good. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's get some cologne and then you can get off the table, girl. <gasps> You're so pretty. Yeah, I'm in the bottle already. <laughs> here. There. Mmm. You glance at your ears. Oh yeah, they look great. I am so happy you're a client of mine. Yeah, me yes, too. I am so happy you're going to. I yes, love, I love this. I love how you just texturized her fur so that it's just okay. like a little bit. It's. I see what you mean. When, um, see, it just kind of like gives it some body. <laughs> it does. But usually I, for me, I wouldn't want to do it shorter up here. Uh huh. But um, it, I can see what you're saying. It's, it helps it lay down a little bit. Yeah. But long hair, I learned this from a recent lady who did my hair. Long hair tells short hair what to do. Uh -huh. So if we make that short, short hair doesn't tell long hair what to do. Yeah. So then all the short hair is on top, so it might end up being with her. It's laying nicely. But sometimes yes. you'll see it where it'll just now grow out straight into the eyes. Yes. And it's more of a hassle. Yes. But it's laying down really well. Yeah. Yeah. Her coat, is, it's got a good mix with and it. And she has a longer Not too much snout. curl here. Yeah. You know what I mean? She doesn't have a ton of curl in general. Yeah. So, so. I think we talked about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got the straighter hair anyway, but her face is a her face is more that golden golden retriever. Oh, you're so gorgeous. You're so yes, cute. you are. Thanks, Mom, for letting me record. Yes, absolutely. Are you happy? I do. I love it. Yeah. Are you just gonna jump down, Lucy? She's like, no. Can you please lower hey. it? Here you go. Sit down. Here you go. Sit down. Good girl. See, I'm going to clean my table for me. Yep, do that for me. Okay. <laughs> she just got her tail. You can get down. I'll see you Good later. Good girl. She's just going to clean out your tush. Yes. So then that way you want to stop scooting your tush all over the house. Yes. No tushy scooting anymore. Okay. So you are going to do, if you can imagine me going into yours, it's mm -hmm. not fun. Yes. Okay? She's not going to be happy. So you can hold here and just, uh, so I would, if you weren't here, I probably would muzzle her. Okay. Because I've already had close calls through my career. I actually would be like, oh, you know, what? it is painful. Yeah. You know, so a muzzle her or put a cone head so I can go in and be quick. But since okay. you're here, just hold this, Hi, right? Baby. Hold the um, loop there so and watch your nails then so they don't break. I love you. So we're going to... Those are her nails. <laughs> your nails. I don't want to break your nails, but oh, that's okay, I could baby. feel them. them. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, baby, watch girl. your face though, okay? Hey. Just in case. It could be anything. Hey. So we got you're lubricant. Okay. We're going in here. You're going in. Okay. Ready? Here we go. You're okay. Oh, yeah. Good Extremely cold. Stay there. Hey. One more. You're good. Oh, yeah. Good girl. That's good. Okay. Do you see? <gasps> yeah. Okay. And then all, all the drops there. Yep. It's definitely extremely full. Okay. We're lucky that if they came squirting out. I know that sounds gross. But you don't want But that. you don't want the toothpaste. Good girl, Lou. You really don't want the kind that so has you like want a toothpaste. Fluid. Yeah. It's best if it's fluid. If it's okay. toothpaste, you actually oh, literally good have to hold to uh, the end of the the anal gland like in your hand and oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying and yeah. squeeze it until the toothpaste roll comes out it's yeah. just so I got some shampoo here and conditioner so then that was that was the best Definitely. case scenario yes getting them cleaned out and it was liquidy and yep. good. great great okay 
Hey there. I know. Now you're totally wet. You are wet. such a good girl. She is a very um, patient dog. I think is a good way to <laughs> say this it. area really good back here. You're going to feel so much better. So stay there a second. I'm going to show you the, because we're, cause we're just concerned. I want you to just to know. Okay. So back here, when, when I say she's doing this licking and stuff, come uh -huh. here and just look. So if you want to see here, when you open that up, yeah. and I actually shaved it already. So I shaved this out of her way, uh -huh. but I didn't shave it all up under here. Okay. Because some of it's just a natural. Do you think part of it is because they were so full? No, that has nothing to do with anal glands. Okay. So that's where she pees from. Yeah, but I, I just didn't know there. if just the scooting on the floor and all that stuff. Oh, no, stuff. so separate subject. So well, what yeah, I just showed I you know here if... was the color of yes, what she Yes, 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 but right I didn't right. know if maybe... If they're full, if she's going to scoot. Because she wants to apply pressure to squeeze them out herself. But I didn't know if, like, the scooting and stuff was maybe irritating her sanitary I area, so. and then she was no. licking it. No. So should so I just take her over to the... So you have your anal glands here and okay. inside, okay. and then you have where you pee down here, okay. right? And so I just showed you the color of the hair there. Should I just go and talk to the vet? Or call them? Well, I have a good what, relationship our, with What's our vet. major question? What's the major question we have? Well, what were, you gonna say, what were you going to say? Because, like, do I, should I be really concerned with her licking there? Okay. So that would be the question. Okay. Um, a veterinarian. I am concerned my dog might be licking her private area a lot where she pees from. Uh -huh. What do you suggest? I suggest you come in and we do a test and see if she has a uh, urinary tract infection. I suggest we see if she has a bladder infection. And then we can outweigh like why she's licking. Okay. So if there's no problems at all, then I would say your pet is probably just um, kind of fin finicky. Just a licker. Uh, has like a little bit of anxiety or boredom maybe. Yeah, there okay. could be a bunch of different reasons, right? Well, it's funny. I just don't see her licking a lot. Yeah, I, I, I notice her licking her feet. Right. Like right. it's one it of those things where noticeable. she'll come in and she'll go from the bathroom and she'll lick really quick right. and then right. she just moves on. Right. So like. Okay, you can come down. You're good. All done. All done. You did so good, my dear. We just got a free Starbucks birthday coffee. I love Starbucks, but I do realize you take it in stride. You guys don't do it every day like I was, or you may, you know, hurt yourself. Okay. Um, I'm so happy, and it's raining, and David got me this butterfly necklace for my birthday. So um, I just want to say thank you so much for making me feel so loved. This birthday last year was a uh, y'all can relate um, really traumatic because there was so much. Uh, hateful people on my YouTube and on my birthday was I had to clean up a lot of Facebook jerks um, for no reason just hating on my my business never met them before I don't even know who they are uh, it was a group of people from Facebook in a groomer group but this year I tell you what I have uh, recovered and taught myself some lessons to get grow some hard skin and uh, I just want to say it's my birthday. I feel great. I feel so loved this year. Uh, folks like um, Kim, Michelle, Yvonne, Diane, uh, just uh, those of you, hi, Ashley, Bar Barbara, uh, that just, and many, many of you, don't think that, I just don't know your name, but uh, many, many of you, sending love oh my gosh I woke up to so many text messages and the people that really are paying attention to my videos and just part of everything I do and I, I we can't thank you enough Dave and I thank you so much and uh, thank you for sharing my birthday with me and um, just uh, you know do do what you do and love goes so far love goes further than hate and um, I cannot appreciate y'all more thank you for sharing my world with me all right we'll keep you posted